Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Cavre, a couple that loves to play board games. And today we'll be teaching you Forest Shuffle. Boom! Forest Shuffle. This game is designed by Koch and it's published by Lookout Games. Let's head on over the table and learn to play in five minutes! As always, you'll begin by setting up. You'll place the clearing and the reference cards in the center of your playing area. You'll then prepare the main deck. You'll first find the three winter cards and set them aside. Shuffle the large pile of cards and remove a set amount of cards if you're playing less than five players. You'll then divide the remaining cards into three similar sized piles. In one of the piles, you'll shuffle two winter cards in and place the remaining one on top of that pile. You'll then stack piles ensuring the pile with the winter cards is at the bottom. This is your card deck. Each player will receive a cave card and draw six cards into their hand. Now if none of these cards are trees, you can discard all six cards into the box and draw a new set of six cards. You'll choose the first player and you're now ready to play. In Forest Shuffle, you'll create an ecologically balanced habitat for flora and fauna. You'll plant trees which will house various organisms in hopes of scoring the most points by the end of the game. Now beginning with a starting player, everyone takes turns in clockwise order. You'll keep playing until the third winter card is drawn. At this point, the game ends. On your turn, you must carry out exactly one of two possible actions. Draw two cards, or play a card and check the clearing. When choosing draw two cards, you can draw face up cards from the clearing or face down cards from the deck. You always have a choice of where you draw from, meaning you can draw one initially from the top of the deck and then choose to draw one from the clearing or the top of the deck after. You have a hard limit of 10 cards per hand, meaning that if you have nine, you may only draw one card. The last note here is if you draw a winter card, simply set it aside and redraw. If the third one is drawn though, the game will end immediately. And that's the draw two cards action. Instead, you can choose the play a card and check the clearing action. Now each card has either one tree or two forest dwellers. Each tree card features exactly one type of tree around which you can place animals, plants, and mushrooms. These are the bases of your forest. All the other cards are split in two, horizontally or vertically. These will inhabit the trees you've planted. Each card will have a cost, these are cards you need to place in the clearing to play the corresponding cards. Types, which may affect scoring. Effects and abilities that you can use. And the number of points they score. To play a card from your hand, you'll first pay the cost placing the other cards from your hand face up into the clearing. Normally, it does not matter which cards you discard as payment. However, some species will provide you with a bonus if you pay with a specific typed card or cards. When playing a tree, you must also draw the top card from the deck and place it face up in the clearing. There's a reminder on the board. Now instead of playing a tree, you may play any card from your hand face down as a universal tree sapling. Saplings provide card slots as trees do, however they do not belong to any of the A tree species and are not considered a tree species of their own. When playing a split card, you'll only need to pay the cost for the half you wish to play. Once paid, you'll place the card in a tree you've already played. Any slots around the tree without an organisms are considered empty and can be played on. A tree is considered fully occupied if all four slots are occupied. Only one card can be played per side, unless otherwise specified on the organism. Now once a card is played, you'll execute any effects and bonuses if the card has them. The important rule to follow here is the effect must be used before the bonus. Cards and effects are explained in text, the reference card, and the last page of the rulebook. One quick note we'll mention here is most effects are instant effects. However, mushrooms have a permanent effect that can be used for the rest of the game. Now, the last thing you'll do in this action is check the clearing. If there are 10 or more cards in the clearing, the clearing will now be emptied. After taking the draw two cards or play a card and check the clearing action, it's now the end of your turn and play passes to the player on the left. The game will continue with forests flourishing and creatures, plants, and mushrooms embarking on the ecosystem you nourish until the third, last, winter card is drawn. At this point, the game ends immediately, and you're ready to score. You'll first tally all the points from the trees, then your top and bottom cards that are visible, then your cards on the left and right of the trees, and finally, any cards that are in your cave. These will be worth a point each. The player with the highest score wins. And that's for a shuffle. Well. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, go in the description down below. We'll be happy to answer any questions to help you learn this wonderful game. 
And of course, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we make weekly board game content. And we also did a review for this game. Check that out right here. There. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.